archaeologists say that mysterious 12,000-year-old pebbles may be early evidence of wheel-like tools. Researchers in Israel suggest the roughly donut-shaped artifacts could be spindle whorls, representing one of the oldest examples of rotational technology. When faced with an assortment of 12,000-year-old perforated pebbles from an archaeological site in northern Israel, researchers wondered if the artifacts could be beads, or perhaps fishing weights. However they've come to a more significant conclusion. The pebbles could be spindle whorls, weighted pieces used in spinning textiles. If that interpretation is true, it would make the pebble collection one of the oldest examples of rotational technology, a crucial prerequisite to the invention of the wheel. While the perforated pebbles were kept mostly at their natural unmodified shape, they represent wheels in form and function, a round object with a hole in the center connected to a rotating axle. Using highly detailed three-dimensional models of the 113 pebbles, the archaeologists noted that the mostly limestone artifacts were roughly donut-shaped. The holes measured 3 to 4 centimeters in diameter and had been drilled halfway from each side of the pebbles, though some of the pieces had off-center, partially perforated holes. The artifacts had previously been unearthed at a roughly 12,000-year-old late Natufian village close to the Sea of Galilee. Natufian refers to a hunter-gatherer culture that existed in the region of Palestine and southern Syria around 9000 BCE and preceded the transition toward the agricultural practices that marked the Neolithic period. Because of the pebbles' irregular shape and weight, researchers ruled out the possibility that they were prehistoric beads or fishing weights. The artifacts were too heavy and odd-looking to be beads, the team concluded, and they were too light and made of the wrong material for use in fishing. Next, they thought of spindle whorls, small disc-shaped weights with holes that are attached to spindles to make them rotate faster when spinning textiles. The researchers decided to test their hypothesis in real time. They used the three-dimensional models to create precise replicas of the artifacts and asked a traditional textile expert to test them out. After some practice she was able to successfully spin flax, and with a bit more difficulty spin wool, into yarn using the pebbles as spindle whorls. They were really surprised that they worked because they weren't perfectly round. But you just need the perforation to be located at the center of mass, and then it's balanced, and it works. Also, the spindle whorl interpretation is consistent with their observations. The method of drilling halfway from each side of the pebble allows for better balance and thus more controlled spinning, and the pieces with incomplete and off-center holes could have been discarded as mistakes. Because the artifacts are simple limestone pebbles that don't stick out at first glance, the researchers were surprised to learn how they were likely used. If the pebbles are confirmed to be among the oldest examples of spindle whorls, it would mean several things. The most striking is that the artifacts would also represent one of the oldest uses of rotational technologies, which might have paved the way for crucial other advancements, such as potter's wheels and traditional cartwheels in the 4th millennium BCE. Additionally, flax was probably being spun in small quantities for use in other emerging technologies such as bags and fishing lines, that is to say, new methods of storage and subsistence. In other words, the spindle whorl could have been crucial to advancements beyond the wheel. However, archaeological records suggest that the technology died out before re-emerging and taking root in the same region thousands of years later. They went back to something else, and we don't see the same tool for another 4,000 years. When it comes back, what's interesting, is that it's at a site that is very close by. Not everyone is convinced by the researcher's interpretation. Some archaeologists say that the study should have looked for microscopic traces of the friction caused by yarn on the pebbles. And even if the pebbles are spindle whorls, these tools are more similar to a spinning top than to a wheel. Ultimately, the most important aspect of the study is how modern technology allows us to delve deep into touching the fingerprints of the prehistoric craftsmen, then learn something new about them and their innovativeness, and at the same time, about our modern technology and how we're linked.